Hello, hello everybody. Welcome again to my channel. My name is Chi Chukai Pere and I am really glad to have you here with me today. And my story is going to be how my two kids almost drowned on the same day. Well, I'm not here to tell sad stories, but I'm telling remarkable stories and along them will come also victories for results, okay? So that day in the subdivision where my brother lived, my brother who housed us, okay? It was a new subdivision in, in Atlanta, okay? So they were opening their clubhouse, you know, the day that we're going to open the clubhouse. So they invited all the residents of that subdivision to come for the party, okay? That day my husband was, we had been at work, my brother was also at work. So my brother, because he wasn't going to be present, said I could take the kids to the clubhouse. So the clubhouse has a swimming area and that was actually where they wanted the party to go on point. So I made up my mind that the kids were going to stay in the splash area. Guess what, before I could say Jack Robinson, the older ones had gone out, you know, run and gone to wherever they wanted to go, you know, just playing around. Then I stayed with my youngest kid, but that I would just be in the splash area, you know, just a place where they had the, sh the shower, something that looked like an umbrella that just kept dripping water. And the water that was gathered underneath was about a foot long. <laughs> that day too, I almost drowned, okay? So I don't know what happened and my little, my smallest son ran into that one foot water. Whether it's the pressure of the water or what, I just cannot tell what it was. But before I could say anything, the boy had, he fell down, he tripped. So, you know, when you trip, one foot of water is still enough to drown the person. So when I saw him fall, I dove with him. Come and see where one foot of water almost also drowned me. As I was trying to catch my son, I also fell flat on my face. And I'm sure that water entered my nose. But I was able to grab him and we got out. As soon as we got out, somebody started shouting, hey, hey, hey. Ma'am, ma'am, your son is drowning in the big pool. I was like, what is going on? I, that's my, the one right uh, before the youngest one. So my third child, okay. I was like, no, I told them not to swim. Only for me to go there. And my son was down in the pool. I myself couldn't swim. I don't know who sent him to go to that big people's pool. And I, you know how deep he didn't even go to the low you know the shallow end he went to the deepest deep end so i just saw him going down and when i was running remember i did not know anybody at that pool i just saw saw a lady there was like hey can you hold this my child let me go rescue my other child only to get there there was something that looked like a ladder going into the pool and i saw myself if i said let me go into that pool and save my child there was just no how I could reach him because he was far away. And I couldn't let go of the of the ladder, right? So I didn't bother to enter because I knew I couldn't achieve what my brain told me to do. So I started shouting, help me, help me. Then one African-American guy came again. These people, they've helped me a lot in this, my life. This guy came and swooped my son up from that bottom part of the sea, of the of the pool. I don't know. I think he kind of gave him some CPR or compression or whatever. And he had water. Maybe he expelled the water in my son's belly. Okay. And he recovered. Thank goodness he recovered. I just picked my kids, all of them. That was the end of that whole um, opening and it also clicked as I that was the day I made up my mind that if I didn't achieve anything in the United in this United States it will be to ensure that my children know how to swim that was my wish 
that experience was traumatizing for me. I just grabbed all of them and we headed home. Our house was not too far away from that clubhouse. So I thought I could, you know, just talking to them was sufficient for them to know their limits there. But I was wrong. Also, I was in shock. My heart was beating as we were walking home. It just felt like a form of darkness came over me. I was like, assuming if, what could I have said if something, that's, if this story went the other way? I was like, wow, I went to this pool party or whatever, opening party, just so we could get like a, you know, some maybe sandwich or something just you know regular things that we could have got at home i was like what was my purpose you knew that they couldn't swim but you know my mind we've been going to that clubhouse but my mind never ever went to the you know never told me that anything like that could happen on that very day i got home and for so many days it kept playing in my dream I lie down to sleep, I wake up in shock. I lie down to sleep, I wake up in shock. That was a very shocking experience for me. So luckily, when we moved to Ohio, the governor of Ohio actually built some, like, park and wrecks. He put, like, swimming pools there because they had, they said that there was a statistic that African Americans had the highest number of drowning in the state or something like that. A lot of African American kids couldn't swim. So in the park and rec facilities, park like P A R K Park and Rec Recreation Facilities, he built like standard swimming pools so that all black kids in the community can come and learn how to swim for free free even their parents so yeah i'm really grateful for that park and uh, rec place where my children learned how to swim okay yeah that's the end of that story i hope you had a good time yes you can share your own uh, in between culture stories with me okay thank you for watching bye don't forget to subscribe share comment like thank you and bye bye